Botox for the chin. So Botox is a great product. It's a muscle relaxant, so it helps to relax the muscle, change the activity of the muscle, so it's not working so hard. So um, the overlying skin doesn't crease, doesn't wrinkle, doesn't pucker. Uh, the, the, one of the ways that Botox can be used is for the chin area. The chin, you've got a muscle called the mentalis. When that muscle is overactive in certain patients, it can lead to a orange peel kind of look. So if I do that, you can see little dimpling of the chin. It can also cause, if this muscle is very, very active, it can cause a crease just here. And um, when that crease is seen, it, it makes it look like the proportions of your face um, are not quite correct um, because what we want is for this chin to be um, slightly um, dropped down a bit um, so it opens up this area rather than having it like this um, and that's usually when your muscle is very very active so of course you would want a face-to-face -face consultation to assess why the chin um, is in that position is it to do with a hyperactive muscle or is it to do with something else? So um, obviously make sure you have your face-to-face -face consultation because that's really, really important. Um, and your aesthetic practitioner will recommend the best treatment for you. So um, what is usually done is if I do have patients who have got a very, very strong muscle down here and it is causing a crease here or it's causing excessive puckering when they speak, when they and they've got the orange peel on the chin. And um, what we can do is actually relax that muscle. It's um, strategic points on the muscle which are injected. We wanna make sure that it stays away from the lip area because if um, we go near the lip, one of the corners of the lip, what we can do is target muscles which um, cause depression of the lip. So we don't want to target any of those muscles because it will lead to an asymmetric smile. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that the right, the correct muscle is injected first of all, and the right dose is injected. Don't want to inject too much in the area because we don't want any, we don't want um, to relax it completely. It's really just to moderate the muscle and relax it slightly um, to prevent the overlying skin from creasing or wrinkling. So you inject into your John Travolta. Um, if, you, if you haven't seen John Travolta's chin, he's got like a little bum chin, which is adorable on John Travolta, but um, a lot of patients do find that it's not the best appearance for their chin, especially women, and so they want to help to reduce that. So um, it's a great um, treatment which can be incorporated into another facial aesthetic treatment. It's not a huge amount of Botox which is used in the area, it's um, and it's fairly easy and straightforward to do as long as you know which moss needs to, needs to be injected and of course you're suitable for treatment because um, you know the, the reason why you've got um, the orange peel look is because of the activity of the muscle and it's not because um, of anything else that's going on underneath the skin. So a straightforward treatment which can be incorporated into your facial aesthetic treatment and um, if you have any further questions about this, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you.